hey y'all welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this whenever i post if you're interested in seeing how i over bleached dyed almost fried and still made this wig pop just keep watching the video Okay, y'all, this hair is from West Kiss Hair. The bag is super duper cute, especially for the season that we're in right now. The red theme is really nice for the holidays. But um, inside of the bag, it comes with the wig itself. And then it comes with a wig cap. It comes with some lashes. And y'all, I haven't been getting my lashes done, so y'all know I have to put these on. These were so nice. And then it comes with um, an elastic strap or whatever you call it, an adjustable band. So this is how the wig looks, you guys, fresh out of the package. Take a mental picture in your head of how this wig looks, y'all. It is so thick, it's shiny, it's full. And I don't even know why I just wanted to dye it. I guess I just wanted a different color, but yeah, I should have just kept it like this because the wig is super duper full, shiny, and thick, y'all. But yeah, y'all gonna see what I do to it. Okay, so now you just see me applying like a regular little trash bag. You can put any bag to protect your wig head from like the dye and um, bleaching and things like that. So here I'm just doing that as you guys can see. And then I'm about to place my wig on the mannequin head over the trash bag or plastic bag, whatever you want to call it. And I just hold it down by pinning it with the... Um, what do they call that the t t clips whatever <laughs> yeah so i'm just holding it down with that so to bleach the hair i'm using the salon care 40 volume cream and this developer is really strong y'all and then i'm using a um, hairbrush to just get the product evenly distributed i'm using a bowl mixing bowl and then i'm using a l'oreal quick blue um bleaching powder and this stuff is strong y'all so be careful when you use it so now i'm just about to apply the bleach to the hair and i want y'all to wash this part i'm gonna try not to edit out too much but i'll let you guys see how i bleach the hair and everything like that honestly i should have had this hair on the floor i should have had a comb to evenly distribute the product because this brush was not helping at all, really. So, <laughs> yeah, but you live and you learn. Um, I'm not a professional or perfect at this. So, but when I did look back at the video, I was like, why didn't I put it on the floor? Like, oh my gosh. And why didn't I have a comb or something to evenly distribute the product throughout the hair? And again, usually, like, it's much easier with bundles. But, um... When you're doing a wig, it's a little bit harder because you're trying to already get the hair that's, you know, already sold onto the unit. So it's just a little bit more harder to distribute the product throughout the hair. But it's doable. I should have had it on the floor, y'all, but I didn't. I'm going to speed this process up a little bit so you guys can see it because this is like a 40-minute clip in real time. But I'm going to shorten it for you guys so you guys can see what I did. And take notes. Don't do this to your hair at all don't just slap the bleach on your hair like i did because you will cause some damage okay <laughs>
okay so here this is how the hair looks after i um bleached it and i don't know if you guys can tell but the hair looks really really like puffy thick dry and you can see a lot of the split ends are starting to peek through but again this is what happens when you you know process hair especially if it's virgin hair this this can happen so you have to be mindful for that um i did leave the bleach on i want to say for no more than 30 minutes but um i would suggest leaving it on for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes and constantly checking on your hair i wasn't checking on it i just put my timer on i walked away came back and i was like whoa the hair is hot let me like rinse this stuff out it started to lighten up and as you guys can see the frontal is lighter than the rest of the hair the bundle part so yeah i was like let me take this stuff out and wash it and all of that so this is how it came out after i washed it and blow dried it and i was a little bit sad i was like oh my gosh look at all these split ends y'all <laughs> but i mean it happens next time i'll just buy a wig that's already pre-colored because this i cannot <laughs> Okay, so right after I bleached the hair, I went straight into dyeing. Um, I used the 30, 30 volume developer. I forgot the brand, y'all, but the brand is on the screen. I just can't think about it by heart. But um, yeah, so I used the 30 volume developer. And then I used the high color, um, permanent color. I used one in intense red and then the other two in light auburn. And what I was saying earlier about putting the hair on the floor, this is what I meant. Putting it on the floor with a plastic bag and then also using the comb still to, you know, evenly distribute it. But y'all, I don't know where my head was at this day. <laughs> I really can't tell you. I just was trying to get this hair colored and, you know, install it within like the next two days. Because I installed it like two days later. So yeah, I just was trying to rush and color it. But don't do that to your hair, y'all. Especially if you pay your own money for your hair. This hair is, you know, not cheap, especially if it's human hair. So take your time with your hair. Do your research if you're not sure on how to bleach or, you know, things like that or color. So, yeah, take your time. But I am going to fast forward this part because in real time, it's like 30 minutes long for me coloring my hair. So I will fast forward it so you guys can see the process of me coloring the hair. Okay, so now we're coming towards the end. This is just the install process. Um, I did the ball cap method this time. I usually don't like doing this method because it's time consuming, but I decided to do it this time just to give it another shot. But um, yeah, so here I'm just doing the ball cap method and using my got to be spray. Y'all, I've been trying to find another spray to use. I'm thinking about this ORS spray that everyone's been talking about. So I'm gonna try to find it. I did try going to my local beauty supply to find it but they didn't have it there but i think they have it at target so i'm gonna have to like hit up target and see um if they have it and how much it is but uh yeah so i just use my got to be spray and my got to be i think it's the spike gel or something like that and that's just how i've been doing my installs lately the glueless method way um i have used glue before and i don't like it i like to take my wigs off you know every now and then rather than leaving it on for a certain amount of days because y'all wigs be itching so you got to take your wigs off <laughs> but yeah if i must just be honest 
um so yeah i'm just installing the hair y'all see me all over the place um i'm looking right at my mirror i don't have a desk in front of me so i'm like bending down picking up um combs and stuff and all of that but yeah um now i'm just installing the hair i'll let you guys watch this and then i'll see you guys at the end of the video Okay, you guys, this is the end result of how my hair came out. I think it looks really, really cute, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. But despite what I put it through, all the bleaching and the coloring all at the same time, I think this hair held up really, really well. Um, I can't give a full review only because this is the first day of me having it in my head. So, like, maybe down the line, like, a month or so, I can give a full review. But honestly, y'all, I'm going to be honest. I do not like frontals at all. They take too long to install. Um, I'm more of like a 5x5, five 6x6, five, six six, or 4x4 four four closure girl because you can easily just put it on, glue it down, and you know, style it, be on your way. But frontals, this is some work, y'all. Like, this is some work. Um, but yeah, the, the hair holds up really, really well for now. Um, even after I bleached it, I think I did record, I'm not sure if I, show, if I will show you guys at the end, or not in the end, but in the beginning where I was bleaching it and then a side-by-side -side comparison of after me deep conditioning it. Because when I did bleach the hair, I think anytime when you bleach hair, like it becomes really, really dry. It can become dry because it's chemical. It's a chemical process, just like a relaxer or anything like that. So um, the hair was really, really dry at first. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just throw this hair away because this hair is dry. Y'all seen in the beginning how the hair looked fresh out of the package and it was beautiful. You know, it had shine to it, but once I bleached it, it was, it was just dry. Like, <laughs> I was like, there's no coming back from this, but I did do like the boil method. I didn't show you guys that, but I did do a boil method, I think twice. Yeah, I did it twice and, um, I boiled it with like some conditioner and then I boiled it with some uh, coconut oil, some virgin coconut oil. And this is how it looks. It honestly is really, really soft. Um, it's still bouncy, still flowy. It's not stiff because before, after I bleached it, the hair was really, really stiff, y'all. Like I couldn't get a bounce or anything. There was no shine to it. It just looked like it was just trash. Like you shouldn't even try to revamp the hair. But I did, and this is how it came out. I think it looks really, really nice, y'all. I was trying to go for, um, like, what was it? A copper color, like a copper orange type of color. Not too orange, but like, you know what I mean, a copper color. And this is how it looks. It's like a, I want to say like a light auburn with a dark auburn mixed in between. So it's it's still nice. I like it. Would I try bleaching other hair that I get? No, I would not do that again, y'all. When they tell you have a professional do it, have a professional do it because y'all seen in the video I was struggling. Usually with bundles, it's more easier to bleach the hair than you know with um with the hair sold in already and made into a unit. But yeah, I was struggling, y'all. The hair was getting hot. I'm surprised it didn't even catch on fire. But yeah, um. This is how it looks, and I'm super impressed with how it came out. I just did a side part, and I didn't pluck or anything like that. I couldn't find my tweezers, y'all, so this is just how it looks naturally without it being plucked. But yeah, I created some baby hairs on the side, just a little bit, not too much. And um, yeah, this is just the end result of how it came out. This hair is super duper soft, y'all, like, uh, but yeah, this is how it looks super duper soft it's full i did order a hundred and no i'm sorry i did order a 250 percent density and I, I ordered an 18 inch i'll leave everything in the description box below so you guys if you guys are interested you guys can check it out this is from west kiss hair again and let me think what else can i say about this hair i want to talk about the shedding the shedding was let me show y'all my brush this is the shedding on the hair i don't know if you guys can see it probably not but this is how the 
hair was like it was a lot y'all it's a lot of shedding but um I really can't say it's the company's fault because when you do process hair, you know, bleach it, dye it, and all that stuff. This was virgin hair before. So when you do process it, you know, things like that can happen. I'm glad I did order a 250% density because as it does start to thin out, it won't look, you know, that bad. It still looks full and natural and things like that. So yeah, um, I really can't say the shedding is on the company's part. The hair when I first got it, y'all, it was beautiful. I should have kept it like that, but I, I was tired of installing like 1B hair, dark brown hair, you know? So I was just like, I need some color. I need, you know, something that's gonna pop. But <laughs> yeah, um, next time I'll just order the color that I want instead of having to go through all of this because yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about the hair, y'all. Um, again, I'll leave everything in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just let me know what y'all think, y'all, because I'm not used to this color. I want to go for something a little bit different. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.